Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. This video is a bow review of the 2012 Bowtech Insanity. Uh, I've got the Insanity here in all black. Uh, I've had this bow for about all oh, about two weeks now, and I've been shooting it a lot. Uh, I've actually shot it at a 3D shoot and been shooting it, of course, in the range and stuff like that. Um, and they've made a lot of different, a lot of upgrades to this. Now this is the CPX. This is the shorter, uh, 30, 32 inch axle to axle version. Uh, it's also available in the CPXL, which is I think around 35 inch axle to axle. Uh, this is the shorter brace sight. This has a six inch brace sight on it. Uh, this bow has a mass weight of 4.3 pounds, so a nice lightweight package. Even with all the accessories on here, still a nice lightweight package. Uh, draw wings are available in 25 and a half to 30 inches, so it gets short. Uh, goes down pretty short and goes up to, to standard 30 inch. Uh, also, it's draw weights available in 50, 60, 70, and 80 pounds. So a really uh, good range of, of draw weights available. I'd love to see this thing in 80 pounds. I bet it'd be a screamer. 80% um, let off. Uh, IBO is 355. So impressive speeds uh, on the IBO rating. So one of the changes they've made is they've added a shock absorber. Uh, vibration damper to the flex guard. You can see here it's, it's a rubberized shock absorber. It's got two weights in it, top and bottom, and that's going to help it better absorb vibration. So, still has the the flex guard here, and the flex guard is going to eliminate uh, torque on the riser and torque on the, the the cable guard because it allows it to to flex with the cables. So. They've made a few changes to that to absorb vibration, and I tell you what, that makes a big difference. I've shot the Destroyers in the past, and I've shot the uh, Invasion last year quite a bit, and I never really noticed the difference until I shot this bow. The other ones had kind of a hollow, like you're thumping on a watermelon kind of sound, uh, and this one does not have that at all. And my Invasion was extremely quiet, but this one is a little bit more quiet just because of that uh, shock absorber right there. Uh, it also has a new finish on it. This has an anti-rock finish, and this is a, a target finish, what they use on target bows. Good, tough finish. Like I said, I've been using this um, for two weeks and had absolutely zero problems with this finish. We took it to a 3D shoot, you know, landed it on the ground, landed it in the rocks, and stuff like that, and absolutely no finish here. Problems with the finish on my riser. Uh, no problems with the finish on my limbs. I know that's, uh, I've seen some, some threads on archery talk and stuff like that, and you can see my limbs. Uh, I had no problems at all with the, the finish on, on my limbs, and I never had a problem with the, the finish on my Invasion, so uh, no problems there at all. This is the hardcore limbs, the seven layer hardcore limbs with the carbon core uh, that, that Botex has been using for the last couple of years. It still has the overdrive binary cam on it, but they've changed these up just a little bit. Uh, from a technician standpoint, they've improved them quite a bit, I think. The old ones, when you put your fingers on your bow press like this apple press that I've got here the fingers would come here and your um, module was right here behind it your module would actually be stuck between the fingers you'd have a very small space to get in there to your bolt uh, so they put the modules up front this time and they changed that around just a little bit so now when you put your fingers in here it's nice it's easy to get to right here you just gotta take two bolts out and, and it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to change the, the draw length on this thing uh, they've also changed the way the cables hook up the old cables, uh, your control cable came up, wrapped around a peg, and came down to another hookup, another peg there. This one actually comes up and hooks up to a peg here, and it's allowed this right or this cam to be just a touch smoother. It's just a little bit smoother than what the Invasion was. I wouldn't say a whole lot, but it has improved the draw cycle just a little bit on there. Uh, it also has the carbon rod string stop, like uh, Botex has been using for the last couple years. Very effective carbon, um, very effective string stop there. Uh, so that's kind of the overview of the bow. So we're going to get out now and we're going to do a little bit of shooting with this thing. I've got this set up with a ripcord code red rest. I've got a loop on the string. I've got a peep sight in here. And I've got just a basic apex sight on the front and a uh, oh, it's an apex or a NAP Apache stabilizer out front, which I'll probably take that off to do some shooting so you can get a good feel for the actual sound of the bow. Now we ran this through a, a program called OT2 and we'll put that up for you here. Uh, we ran that through OT2 because it gives you a very, very good, very accurate depiction of what this bow should be doing. We've been able to put in right down to the arrow we're using, the veins we're using on the arrow, draw length, draw, uh, draw weight that we're using down to the exact number. 
So we'll put that up for you here and we'll show you exactly what OT2 says this bow should be getting for speeds. And uh, then we'll, we'll do a little bit of chronograph. We'll show you what we're getting on the chrono and we'll do some shooting from there. Okay, we went to the range to do our speed test and we forgot our camera. So we've got our uh, Pro Chrono Digital uh, screen capture up here. You can see we took 10 shots with the Insanity CPX. And the shots range from 283 to 287, which 284, 283, 284 is about what the bow should be doing. So we actually exceeded the uh, exceeded the IBO rating or what OT2 said that we should be getting on several shots. But overall, it averaged out at 284, which is exactly what OT2 said that we should be shoot getting. Uh, extreme speed differential was uh, was or extreme spread differential was four, so not too bad there. Standard deviation of two, uh, over 10 shots. That's not too bad. So you can see here we're hitting and or exceeding uh, what OT2 said we should be getting with the speeds on this bow. I'm going to sling a few arrows out of this bow now. We showed you our, our chrono results and we showed you our our OT2 program, what it said it's supposed to be doing. So we're getting right on the money as far as what our speed should be producing. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, this bow has got an excellent grip on it. It's got the two piece wooden grip that I really like. The draw cycle is pretty good for speed bow. You'll see there, it kind of stacks up at the beginning and when it comes out, it comes out of the valley pretty, pretty sharp. Not terrible. And you can see the bow is just dead quiet in hand. Um, it feels really good at full draw. It's 32 inch axle to axle, but it feels like a lot uh, feels like a lot longer target bow. It's got an extremely good shooting platform. And my feet is not rotating around right. These octane strings that are on here, uh, I've been very impressed with them over the last couple of years of shooting, shooting the Invasion and the Destroyers. Um, very good strings, very reliable, hardly any twist to them at all. Uh, my Insan Invasion from last year had absolutely zero string stretch to it, so very good. Uh, the vibration on the shot on this bow is very low. And the noise is phenomenal. I mean, it's just extremely, extremely quiet. Overall, I've been very impressed with the accuracy of this bow. Uh, for six inch brake sight bow, this bow is, uh, it doesn't shoot like a six inch brake sight, that's for sure. We went to the 3D shoot and I was absolutely shooting. I was actually shooting on top of my game, I'm actually shooting better than what I've shot in a long time. So a draw cycle, like I said, not too bad. Comes out there, you can see the bow kind of kick. Nice thing about it is, is the 80% let off and the way that cam is, you can actually sit here and hold this thing. It's just absolutely a joy to hold. Uh, this is at 60 pounds, so no problem holding it back. When you creep with it, it's not too bad. It doesn't want to take off. And what I like about it is, at full draw, I can kind of relax a little bit and it doesn't want to take off. You know, I don't have to be extended out and just hold and hold and hold where it wants to take off. You can see I can kind of relax a little bit with this bow and, uh, and it doesn't want to take off on me. So very nice, very good back wall to it. I mean, just an excellent back wall. Really, really like the, uh, the way this bow holds at full draw. And I'm actually gonna scoot over a little closer to the camera and give you guys a good, good sound of this bow. We're gonna stick it right up against the camera so you can hear this bow really well. Cause it is extremely, extremely quiet. You can see there just a little bit of vibration or a little bit of kick on the shot. Nothing too bad, nothing bad at all. So very comfortable grip to it. Draw cycle is not bad. We got a good, it stacks up pretty good at the beginning. It comes out of the valley. It comes out pretty good. Uh, you can really see how the bow kind of kicks from there. But um, shooting platform's nice, 32 inch axle to axle. Holds rock solid at the, at the at full draw. And I'm very, very impressed with the back wall. Like I said I could sit there, you see, I could sit there and relax. And it didn't want to take off, didn't want to go, didn't want to tear my shoulder out. For this kind of speeds that this thing's rated for and the kind of speeds it's producing, you don't expect that. So very, very impressed with that as well. So we'll step back in the shop here where it's not so cold and we'll do a little wrap up and uh, go from there. So. Okay, so that's the 2012 Bowtech Insanity. Um, very, very impressive bow. The speeds that we're getting out of it, according to our OT2 program, uh, which is a very reliable source uh, of speeds. 
is excellent. We're right on the money. We actually exceeded it a little bit on a few of our shots. So the kinetic energy on this is, is extremely high uh, for, for the poundage that it's on. We're getting enough kinetic energy to hunt just about whatever we want to with it. So uh, finish is very good. Very impressed with the finish, the new Anorak finish. And absolutely no problem with my limbs uh, flaking or any kind of uh, problem with those. Uh, bow is very accurate with the 6 inch brace sight. I would have never, I, I have a really problem shooting 6 inch brace sight bows. But I mean, I'm, I'm shooting this one better than I've ever shot a 6 inch brace sight bow. So very, very impressed with the accuracy on this bow. And just impressed with the bow overall. I mean, it, it's got a great grip to it. Good draw cycle, just a little bit of a stack at the beginning, and when it comes out, you got you saw the shock on the bow. But for a speed bow, not bad at all. Very impressed with the back wall, I like that a lot. Uh, very impressed with the fact that I can creep with it a little bit, and I can kind of relax with it. The bow holds at full draw great. You could see when we were shooting, I could hold it back for a long period of time, and and absolutely no problem with that. Bow is dead quiet. I mean, absolutely quiet as can be. A little bit of a little bit of a kick on the shot, but nothing bad. Not bad at all. Absorbs shock, absorbs vibration very well. So, uh, very impressed with the accuracy on this bow, most of all, and impressed with the with the quietness of this bow for the kind of speeds that we're producing. So, uh, this is the Insanity CPX. For more information on this bow, you can go to Bowtech's website. For more information on the CPXL, you can check that out, out there as well. For more product reviews, how-to videos, and bow reviews in the future, you can check out our website. That's ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.